spin anywhere from I'd say 2,000 and 6,000 a week on Lego parts. You guys wanna see a video about how we sort all this stuff? All right, here it is. I love it when we get brick link orders and we get them like massively. Before we actually show you the organization of all the millions of parts we have, we're gonna show you some of the, the first process. And the first process, of course, is getting in those thousands and thousands of week worth of Lego bricks, typically from BrickLink, some from Facebook Marketplace, garage sales, we get Legos anywhere and everywhere we can mainly from BrickLink. So here's a couple different videos of BrickLink orders coming in and us going through them. And then right after that, we will get to the main video, which is gonna show you how Brick Addict organizes all of our millions and millions of Lego pieces. Hey, Brick Addicts, Lego lovers, friends from all over the world. We got a nice big package in from ebricksonline.com and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's open her up. This is part of what we spend thousands on a week to get parts for the stuff we build. In fact, these are the pieces that hold the chairs in, with the, uh, the chair bases, and also like cups, things like that, that have stickers around them, Briar maybe in one of our sets. These probably go toward doing like the actual buildings and things as well with this. Lots and lots of parts there. You get clear mugs and then these, which we put in the walls to hold the uh, menu boards. It's a plethora of awesomeness. Another cylinder piece, a one by two. Clear. And I absolutely love how these people send stuff in the bag. Or maybe they just send them like this because we ordered so many of them. But these are one by sixes. Yeah, these are new. These are one by sixes. And we use these in um, actually making the buildings to a lot of our restaurants and stuff like that. Cool bags. I love the bag. You know what these are? Front. Well, front windows to uh, we use a lot of our sets. The bases for a lot of our restaurants, I think 16 by 16, something like that. We start with a, a base plate and just kind of go from there. The main designer is gonna take this box to the other building and he's gonna do magical things with it. And then it's gonna be sticker to look even more magical for all you. In fact, most of them are bigger than this. Sometimes we get like 20 boxes in one day. Pretty sweet. We will start with all of these. Pull all the pieces out. Like that, and then we take a picture next to the label so we know exactly who it came from. Do that in the bin. This is a piece we use a lot of. It's a flat uh, two by four. Another one, a white flat 2x4. We use tons and tons of those. Four black and 1x4 blue stud. And I had already opened this, but it's a base plate, which is going to be um, the new Walmart that we're doing. Right there. Okay, Ace on Bricks. We've got a 2x4, uh, or my bad, 2x2 two two green with a uh, notch on it which is probably for Subway or uh, cooking pots. Very important for our sets, cooking pots. There are brick link sellers that we keep in business. Move this around a little bit. All right, we got a bunch of one by two clear, a couple windshields, a giant, oh, that's why these are out, because the bag broke, so. Tons and tons of windshields stuff. I love their packaging. 
So Ted and Flint's bricks, your packaging certainly meets our approval. Actually, we could probably use about a million more of those. You want to know how he does this line? One of those right there. To do that, you just go just like that. I don't know if it's on, but I just, I love this guy's packaging. This is so cool. It's amazing. All right, got some slopes, some donuts, some uh, windows, and some uh, blue cones. Probably goes on the Apple store, I think, that we've got. Some uh, black one by th or two by threes, and uh, tan two by four flats. Uh, open the second. Yeah. Hey, it's impressive so far. Check this out. A Lego bag. One by four. Uh, one high. Same thing in gray. Uh, one by twos. I'm not sure what we use these in. I can't remember. There's a lot of stuff in this one, let me tell you. It's too bad I can't just like hold them all up, but there's there's a ton of stuff in it. Actually mentioned everything. But that goes to several sets. This all goes to several sets that we've got. Most of these all go to several sets. Definitely glad to see some red in because I know we've been uh, out of those completely. And now we've got enough to mass produce the CBS, I do believe. Two by twos there. We call them basic, you know, when there's pieces like this and this. Those are pretty basic. We've been completely out of those, so it's great to have these. Some more basic. Bring along here with this video. And even though I've uh, got borderline laryngitis, I just had to share it with you. Anybody know what that is? That is the tops for the ice cream cones. Let's call AJ and tell him to come and get this stuff. No. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. This is a great way to get the new inventory guy trained up, knowing where things go. There's no better way to learn than by hands-on putting things away. Oh my god, it's beautiful. What? So beautiful. Uh, get back. Get back. Ah! back. We're not done yet. <laughs> Two, right. one. So now here back in inventory, we get to find the homes of each and every one of these pieces stay organized and on top of things and to help out our builders know where exactly they need to go to get what they need for exactly what they need to build. If they're sitting at their desk working on something and they need it, they just get up and go find it and uh, make the magic happen. So we have areas of our walls that are organized just for our certain like mocks, like restaurants and arcade machines and such. And we'll fill up most of that. Oh, it's beautiful. I love seeing a full drawer. We're gonna hope that this goes in without a problem. Any black tiles? One bud? <laughs> nope. Just overflowing with stuff here. At the Brick Addict and Rapid Facility House. So we'll have to have a separate bag. Some of this. We'll leave that out for another Ziploc. And then for other certain pieces, like our tiles and our bricks, we have a whole wall dedicated to just our bricks and tiles and our plates. 
of all different sizes arranged beautifully in color coordination from white all the way down to orange in our most used colors. Because as most people new to Lego don't know, there are actually there is actually a wide spectrum of colors that Lego offers. And then we'll put them away in here and find the rightful homes. And we'll build them and ship them out to you guys. How we organize the parts. So the way we do it is it's kind of you know each row is by color so blue for example starts there and goes all the way down basically our key colors so blue the um, two by twos two by threes two by fours they don't make a two by five, so it jumps to two by six, and then so on, continues all the way up. That one's empty. Uh, it gets to the wider pieces. Looks like we're out of some parts. And then keeps going from there. Blue. Uh, let's see. This is the biggest flat typical piece of that, so the next row starts those colors right there. And these sizes, the uh, color sizes. One by one, one by two, one by three, one by four, one by six, and keeps going. And then it gets even bigger. It gets into the uh, two by two, two by three, keeps continuing and then it ends somewhere right here so so anyway all of the rows down through this area do that they all follow the same type of thing so now you might be thinking well okay what about the uh, the flat pieces the thin flat pieces those are right there so it's basically a continuation Kind of of the same method that we go with here um only it's that's how we do it right here so there's not as many of these types of pieces as there are those so red for example they all follow the exact same type of layout and um we're gonna be doing stickers like this on Every single one of them been planning on doing that for a while. Uh, let's see, little specialty pieces. A lot of this stuff just still needs filed away, sorted. More specialty pieces. Different colors for the uh, locomotives, things like that. Connector pieces. Uh, let's see, pre-built staging for boats, and that's only one section. Staging for airports, airplanes, custom set, the MS Rapid. So let's see, as we get down here, uh, we get into the flat pieces. The, uh, the smooth pile pieces. So, for example, red, oops. Red one by one. Red tile one by two. Continues, and of course, one by eight would be right there. Then it jumps to the uh, two by two and continues on. Looks like they didn't continue. Uh, let's see, here's some specialty pieces. This is the actual Maersk blue color right here. Um, 
which we don't have as many Maersk Blue because not many sets use these. So, as I've said before, there's probably enough in Maersk Blue pieces to buy a small car. We know what that goes on, right? The train. Uh, this here is medium azure. In fact, let's do a comparison. Here's a little quiz for you. Which one is Maersk Blue and which one is Medium Azure? And uh, if you watch our Maersk video, I did a whole little uh, section on that. So this here is Maersk Blue on the left and on the right is Medium Azure. So we do a lot of our uh, custom Maersk stuff in this color. Hey, Brick Addicts! You picked a great day to show up. Today, we're gonna be talking. Which is also the color that goes on the um, most recent mirror ship that Lego did. And then some off blue, just different uh, different blues right there. Some more rare type colors right there. And right there. Uh, we use these parts on a lot of the trains. And more rare colors, rare parts, things like that. Just as we have the line of red coming all the way down, it continues and goes all the way down that way. But in this case, it's specialty parts. So, and I should point out, for example, all of these from here down is this this is a different section so all of these bins from here down except for color they're the same piece so two by six all the way down two by six even here so the designers know if they want uh, one by four this is where to come for it so we get the most common colors in this section and then the least common colors they're stored in a different spot and then this isn't just overflow this is also stuff that needs sorted into the bins so we go with the same method here so if they want a one by two hook type piece it's going to be this whole section so a one by one He's like that, this whole section. And then same thing with those. So everything's sorted by color and then organized by row, basically. In most cases. The hinge pieces. Kind of like that white gray dark gray all the way down and then uh, down here you get into the slopes which actually we've got a whole nother section that's got slopes the um, brick bins which we use a lot of these pieces on our restaurants base plates for restaurants windows we use a lot of windows on our restaurants Like uh, just a little bit of random here. I don't like random. Food. There's the bin of food. If you're hungry, that's where you want to come. More slopes. And see, there's even a method to this. One wide, two wide, three wide, four wide. Then it jumps off to something else. Um, chairs. Again. So everything is sorted by color and sectioned accordingly by part. We've got bins. A whole bunch of bins. Uh, let's see. 
specialty type pieces like that. Jumper type pieces. Disc, frisbees, whatever you want to call them. Doors for the cabinets. Uh, let's see. Hinge type pieces. Some slope, some other stuff. Uh, skateboards, motorcycles. Some dollies. So a lot of times they get parts in. They arrive like that. Some tires. We've got a lot of tires here. I think we probably got more tires than Goodyear. Some signs. More slopes. So it looks like there's a little bit of a method to these. More slopes. And more slopes. Specialty slopes. Here's a whole bunch of overstock. Or however you want to look at it. It's basically just random larger pieces like boat holes, things like that. Once that's done, that'll go on these shelves. This is uh, one of the storage areas for our sets that we build. Some of our sets, this is only a tiny fraction. Let's see, oops. I'm, I'm saying oops a lot, I'm breaking all kinds of stuff. Star Wars, broken version of Star Wars. Donkey Kong. Pac-Man, I think. Uh, some stoplights. We do a little bit of everything as far as for the cities. So stoplights, railroad cross. Well, oh, that's gonna be. But uh, so sticker designer, she's gonna do her magic, and you might see that one really soon. And it'll be nice and pretty, just like that. So, all right, a little bit more uh, overstock. And that is building number three at Brick Addict. I hope you guys all enjoyed that, guys and girls. That is how Brick Addict organizes all of its millions of pieces. If you like this video, click like below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We love subscribers. Turn on the notifications by ringing that bell so you don't miss any. And also, if you like vlogs and behind the scenes stuff, be sure to click right there. If you like highly detailed Lego sets, click right there. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time on Brick Addict.